guys welcome back to another episode of android application development tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to send data to an another activity using intent object so in the previous episode of this tutorial series we already learned about how to invoke an activity using intent object so here in this episode i'm going to show you how to send a data to a to another activity using intent object so here on the activity main.xml file i add an edit text and a button so user can enter a message here and when user click the send button we have to call another activity and we have to display this message on the target activity so here is the edit text uh, the id of the edit text is message text now we have to define an on click method for this button so android on click i name the method as sent message okay now go to main activity dot java file and define that method public void sent message don't forget to add the view argument okay so now we have to create another activity we have to send this message into another activity so in android studio you can easily create another activity so in the previous episode i create the two file in two separate steps first i create the java file second i create the layout file but in android studio you can create the activity that means you can make all the steps of creating create creation of an activity in one step so right click the expand the java package and right click the package name again right click and select the new option and select the activity option from this from this subcategory select the blank activity now a new window is appear first you have to specify the activity name so here i specify the activity name as second activity and now here is the layout name i change the layout name into second layout and here is the title and here is a menu resource name it's an xml file now here you have to specify a hierarchical parent if you specify the hierarchical parent it will help to implement the system default navigation behavior so here i call this activity from the main activity so here the hierarchical parent is the main activity okay here is the package name and click finish now here we got another activity here is the layout of the newly created activity that contain a text view okay so when you create a new activity in android studio android studio done a lot of things for you first is it create the java class file for the newly created activity here is the java class file with the name second activity here you can see Android Studio automatically create all the override methods. First one, it create on create method. Again, create on create options menu. On option item selected method. Okay. Again, it creates the layout file for you. The layout file name is second layout. Here it is, second layout .xml file. That file contain a text view. Okay. Now look at look at to the manifest file if you check the manifest file android studio automatically update all the needed codings on the manifest file also here is a new activity tag is created with android name here is the second activity class name and here is a label second activity and here it provide the parent activity name if we put the parent activity name on the activity tag it will help us to implement the system default navigation behavior and this attribute is working only on android version 4.1 and above if you want to implement the default system navigation behavior in android version 4.1 and below 
you have to add a metadata content this one is so you have to specify the android name as support parent activity and specify the value as the parent activity name parent activity class name so this will help us to implement the system default navigation behavior okay so now we have the second activity now we have to pass the data from the first activity to the second activity so go to the main activity dot java file so first we have to get the message from the edit text here the edit text id is message text so in main activity dot java file first we have to create an object of edit text so here I create an object of edit text I name it as message text so when user click the button we have it first we have to get the message from the edit text so I create a variable string message equal to sorry first we have to initialize the edit text object so message text equal to use the method find view by id or dot id id of the edit text is message text is an object so you have to type cast into corresponding class name okay now we have to get the message from the edit text so message text dot get text converted into string okay so here we got the message from the edit text now we have to create an intent object and we have to attach the data into the intent object and we have to call the target activity so here I am going to create first here I am going to create an intent object intent I name the object as intent equal to new intent first you have to specify a context object second you have to specify the class name of the target activity so here the target activity class name is second activity so second activity dot class okay now we have to attach the data into this intent object you can attach data into an intent object use used by calling a method called the put text class so we have to attach data in the form of key value pair so first we have to create a key for the data so in this class I am going to create another variable under key variable public public is a final variable final static string I name the variable as message key okay so now you have to make sure that your key is unique among all the applications so you have to if you use the package name with a key you have to ensure you can ensure that your key is unique one so here I am going to use my package name so my package name is ec way to in dot com dot demo up and here I am going to specify a key message key okay if you make a key with your package name then you can make sure that your key is unique so now we have to attach the data into the intent object so now we already got the message from the edit text in in this variable message so now we have to attach this variable into the intent object so intent call this method put extra put extra first you have to specify the key so here the key is message key the second argument is the data okay now we attach the data into the intent object now we have to call the target activity so call the method start activity and pass the intent object okay it will call the target activity 
now we have to receive this message on the target activity so for receiving this message on the target activity we have to use the same key variable on the target activity so I copy this key variable now go to the second activity the Java class file and here I declare the same variable same key variable so you got all the intent on this method on create method so first we have to get the intent and we have to get the message from the intent so here I am going to create an intent object so now here we are not going to use the layout file we are going to create a text view and and we make that particular text view as the content of this activity layout of this activity okay so first here I am going to create an intent object intent I name the object as intent and call this method get intent okay so now we got the intent object in this on this so now we have to now we have the intent object on this variable intent now we have to get the message back from the intent object so here I am going to create a string variable string message equal to intent dot Yeah, call this method get string extra and specify the key so here we have the key on the variable message key so use that variable message key okay now we have to create a text view for displaying this message so here I am going to create a text view equal to new text view So now I create a text view. Now we have to set some parameter for this text view. I change the text size into 45 density pixel. Yeah, I think there is no need of DP here. Yeah, that's fine okay now I am going to so now here I create a text view and I set the text size into 45 now we have to attach some data into this text view so text view dot set text and assign the message okay now we have to display this text view as the layout for this activity so use these variables use this method set content view and specify the object name text view okay now we can test the application so now I am going to run the application so click the run button okay now we have got the project on the emulator so here I am going to enter a message hello Prabish and click the send button now it will call the second activity and display the message as a text view so here the text view is the layout of the second activity okay if you click the back button we will got the default navigation behavior of this system i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next episode